Hey guys, it's Dennis from Back Bay Productions. This is a video I had been wanting to make for a very long time now. This is about a certain series that I had just finished yesterday. Tasmania. One thing I've noticed is that a lot of people seem to talk about the Tasmania video games, but not the show slash cartoon itself. But today, I am here to break that silence with my own personal thoughts on this. In my personal opinion, I think this show is an underrated gem. I am simply blown away with how much was put into this series. Tasmania has its own personality, and you get to see a side of Taz that you've never really seen before. It was a really good idea all in all, and it helped Taz develop more as a character. You got to know more about him other than him just being an eating machine. Not trying to bash the classic Looney Tunes era by any means, but this helped Taz further improve. Then you got Taz's family. They're unique and stand out in their own way. Besides Taz, they really carried on the show. I mean, they are on the cover picture after all. Besides them though, there are a bunch of other side characters, minor characters, and some of Taz's foes. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of them are dead-ass hilarious, and some you really just want to punch in the face. But I'll dive more into the characters besides Taz and his family in another video. Because I got a lot to say about them. Episodes can vary depending on plots and characters, but for the most part, it's pretty well handled. Seasons 1 and 2 definitely have the best episodes of the series. Showcasing Tasmania at its peak. As for seasons 3 and 4, not even close. Definitely home to some of the worst of the series. However, I'll make a separate video for that because I have so much to say about those two seasons and what makes them really not good. As far as cons go, I'd have to say there's a little bit of underacting and a little bit of overacting, if you know what I mean. The characters with Australian accents don't sound too convincing, and what I mean by that is the accent doesn't sound too convincing. Not to mention, I mean, sometimes the gags tend to get a bit old after a while. But I mean, other than that, this series is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> See what I did there? This show is severely underrated, and it definitely deserves more attention. If you have interest in watching this, then I say 100% go for it. This is a great spin-off series, and my personal favorite one. I would suggest starting off at either Season 1 or Season 2. Uh, the other two seasons, I wouldn't suggest. I would also suggest that you watch these episodes in order, because trust me, it'll make more sense. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video.